guys, you know what I haven't done in ages is a book haul. So I did get books, I mean I guess not that many in the same period of time, but since I last did a book haul I got more than in my previous book hauls. Hmm. So basically I have a stack this tall from the chair, so right next to me and I'm gonna show you the things I got the past 10 months I believe so the last time I did was last year's April so from May to February almost a year worth of books and yeah Harry Potter is included don't worry so I'm gonna start with the non Harry Potter ones and I'm gonna start with the series because approximately in May I got a series of five books from Mac Cabot no, I won't disappoint you, I just do the same things over and over again. And this is a missing series, which is about Jessica Mastriani, who can tell where missing people are, especially kids. So, I was uh, excited to read this series after I read the Mediator series, but to be completely honest, I still prefer those a lot more. For me, Jessica was a bit too aggressive, like I couldn't really relate to this uh, I'm super short and super aggressive kind of character, like, I'm tall and even if I'm aggressive, I won't beat up people, so, like, that was kind of strange for me, but, yeah, it's an interesting different character and at least I definitely felt like I was reading about a different character. The first two books were okay for me, but I especially liked the second and third ones, so, yeah, they are obviously in my language, so... Yeah, I think my the third one was my favorite, yeah, with that girl, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I called it the twist, but still, yeah, and the last one was okay, I guess, so, which we got released much later, and also has a very different cover, so it's annoying, let me show you, so, basically, just like regular motorcycle, also annoying how, oh, well, not on this, the girl has a short hair on this, but not on this one, like, just has a short hair. Why can't they find a proper model? And is this supposed to be the get that girl or Jessica? I don't know. And like, and then randomly the fifth one has a drawing. Again, my country is incapable of doing things right, so... Yeah, but I don't understand this whole uh, co cover book models thing, but because there are such so many... Like, you don't have to read a book to, like, for the main characters to match the cover. Like, I think when... It, um, when they order a book cover, they should be like basic descriptions of the characters, like I don't know, the guy is really tall, the girl is really short, or they are around the same height, blonde, brunette, uh, black hair, whatever, I mean, eye color is not necessary if you don't see it, or like if the girl has short hair, or long hair, or mid length, or whatever, or like extremely long, whatever, just do something about it, because I can't stand it when for, through the entire book I'm reading how the girl has really short hair or just like this kind of hair and then on the cover there's like long wavy blonde locks and I'm like that's just so strange and they do that so often and like whatever that's my mini rant it just then don't choose that cover even if the picture is pretty I know it just has to be eye-catching because people do buy books by their covers I mean don't lie to me you buy them like that so yeah so I got this series Honestly, the worst covers ever my cupboard got in my country, so hey, I, I'm over with the series that got the worst covers. So I read this during the summer, basically. The fifth one took me months because I wasn't in the mood to read, or I just didn't want to finish because then it means I need to buy more Mac cupboard, but again, I didn't buy more Mac cupboard yet, so yeah, complicated. Yeah, let's move on to the next book, which is just a book by itself. I mean, only in this haul, because this is the second book to to the boys I've ever loved or something, like the English title, seriously? Okay, so P.S. I Still Love You, the second. And it's getting a movie, I mean the first one, obviously. Oh my god, I'm so excited for that. I'm pretty okay with the casting, but honestly, this cover girl is like the most beautiful, perfect thing for this book. Like, I wish she could be the actress, she's, I, I believe, just a Chinese girl. But, oh my god, she's perfect in the first cover as well, it's so eye-catching. This is how you do models for a book, like, this is amazing. And then, of course, they kept the same girl, the, the fourth, the third one as well, so, yeah, it's perfect, so. I do want to read the other series by Johnny Han, but I honestly hate the covers for those. 
and my country uses the same as the American one, so I'm like... Yeah, these were just mesmerizing when I first saw the first one. Yeah, it just came out like during the fall, the second one. They are really slow with translation. And when I start reading a book in my language, I want to read the others in my language, even though I'm fully capable of reading a book in English. But I just have this thing to read them in my language and then get angry at the stupid translations. <laughs> Yay! I mean, they translated dramas as uh, like theater plays. Korean dramas are TV shows. Like, do your research, please. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, I loved it, not as much as the first one, but again, it's a middle book, so... It was okay. I'm excited for the third one whenever that's released. I hope it's at least this year. And now let's get to Harry Potter and the stack is still really tall. So, during the summer, I got this like everyone else did. Ugh. The house versions of the Philosopher's Stone. Okay, so why did I even get all four? Ugh. So, I basically don't have a house. I mean, technically I do, which is Ravenclaw. But when I, the very first time I got sorted, I got sorted into Hufflepuff. So basically I should buy two, but then when you have two out of four, and then you think about it, but Slytherin is so cool, probably it's gonna look so good. And then, well, the main characters are Gryffindor. So that's how you end up with all four, just let me tell you that. I mean, it's much easier when you are a Slytherin. I'm pretty sure the Slytherin people are usually just like, yeah, I need Slytherin, that's it. <laughs> yeah, well, not all. So they are actually beautiful and I did plan to do a review of these. Never happened during the six or seven months that they were on my shelf, so and but I'm gonna do it one day, don't worry. It might be today, I don't know. So they are pretty beautiful. And recently Bloomsbury of course announced what I was afraid that they're gonna continue this series, which in my personal opinion totally bunks the whole idea of the concept of these. Yay, I like to have different versions of Philosopher's Stone as the special and like anniversary, 10 years anniversary, 20 years, like 30, 50, whatever. It's so cool because it's the Philosopher's Stone. But then they decide to do it like a series a year later and I'm like, uh. And then they are like alternating versions because the paperbacks, in my opinion, are fucking ugly. So, yay! Now the hardcovers are gonna look like the Philosopher's Stone's paperbacks for Chamber of Secrets. They are ugly, so I did buy these because they are black. Because you know me, I usually buy paperbacks and I bought the hardcovers because I really despise how the paperbacks look for these. So, now they're gonna force that on me and I said no, not interested. So. I'm not gonna get those, uh, and I think alternating thing just gonna look weird because, uh, like, obviously the fourth and fifth book are so long, and it's just gonna look so odd on the shelves. So I'm just gonna stay with these plus the scarves or whatever in this fine in the pages are so beautiful. I just love to have only these. So like, don't worry, you're not gonna force me to buy weird things again. Because they did once, and I regret it, but of course I finished the series, and the reason why I'm doing this video now is because in the previous one I did a year ago, I got four, the first four books of Harry Potter in the special gift slipcase editions. And when I got them, I got so disappointed about the poor work they did on from the second book. The first one, The Philosopher's Stone, is great, and then it's just a whole mess when you look at them up close. They look pretty from far, even not that pretty, the coloring scheme, whatever. So, the thing is, they're super heavy. I got the other three, missing three. They were super expensive. Um, here is Order of the Phoenix. I don't like this blue at all, but I usually tolerate it, except this is pretty much the only light color amongst them, and it's huge, and it just looks so unbalanced when you look at them. This is like the first color they could have picked for the biggest book. And then it's like this weird purple. And these two colors just don't do it for me. It's like the worst out of the seven how they did. And it's the biggest one. So I'm like, but there's Snape in it. And I still like the Hogwarts thingy going on. Like that's so pretty. But honestly, when you look at these from up close, they are such a disappointment. You might think that I'm complaining, but if you would have these, you would know what I'm talking about. So then of course, there's the Half-Blood Prince. It's this dark burgundy color. It looks great with gold. Oh my god, that's great. 
there's Draco on the back. Uh, and it's yellow, which is kind of ugly, but also works really well. So this kind of became my favorite out of the seven, so that looks good at least. Yay, one point. But like this especially looks bad next to uh, Goblet of Fire because it has a really similar coloring book. Not, not the case, the book is really similar, so they look very odd. Then, of course, there's Daphne Hollows with the black. It also looks great with gold and it has Hagrid and uh, Kyrie on the motorcycle. And it has a dark purple, so this actually looks pretty good. I think this was Daphne Hall as well. So I think they did well the last two books. But then, if these are both kind of purples, but this just so doesn't do anything. Like, it may be dark blue, navy blue. I don't even know what this does, but it just doesn't... I don't know. And not only Order of, Phoenix, Phoenix, Order of the Phoenix is my second favorite book out of the seven, it's also the biggest book and I think messing up the biggest one is like... Oh. <sighs> yeah, it just very much bugs me and I don't know how they could allow this to happen to them. Like, who designed, who picked the colors because uh, there's just a whole mess on my shelf. And I'm sh it's like, they totally don't worth the money. Just listen to me, you don't need these. <laughs> like, you just don't. Who's bothering me? <laughs> so, you don't need these. You can buy any box sets. You should buy, like, any which you were ever pleased to buy. Or what I don't know, but not these. These are just a mess, and I'm gonna show them in a video. Eventually, now that I got all seven. And there's still one more thing that I wanna show. Let me just get rid of these. I mean, not rid of them, just put them on the chair. <laughs> I, I paid a lot of money for them, so I'm like, uh, I paid more for these three books than the last thing I'm gonna show. Uh, and it weights less, of course. Oh my god, doing the thing again, so. Ooh! Another box set, a paperback set from 2013. The other set in paperbacks. Um, why did you get them in paperbacks when you already have them in hardcovers? That's the question you would ask. You could ask, and it's a good question. They are actually the only paperback uh, hardcover pairs where there is like a significant difference between the two. Us, especially because they were released two years apart. Between them, the new children's edition was released, so the hardcovers which I got were released in 2015 and these were released in 2013, so two years before that. And when you look at them, they seem the same, the same spine colors are matching, but when I'm gonna unbox them or review them, you're gonna see that they are not the same. So I try to collect the differences, that's why I maybe should just film them right after the video so I don't forget about the differences. It's quite, quite interesting. I, I Like, look at this. this. Looking at these colors, it's pleasing to the eye even though a giant yellow is there in the, almost the middle. But somehow the other two blue, the other two blue balances it out perfectly. The other two blues match each other. This one, the lighter one, doesn't do anything bad to the darker one, which often happens when they try to match blue. Then orange is like just something again vibrant to the side. Also the pinks and the tail doing some great job on the other side. Like this is so balanced. Like, I don't wonder that people actually liked this design when they came out after the signature editions, which I also personally like, I'm okay with the colors, even though Order of the Phoenix is like a giant purple thing in the middle, whatever, I think it still works. And I don't even like yellow either, but it just works. So yeah, this is really pleasing to the eye, I think it's pretty easy, considering that you're looking at a bunch of colors, which is usually not easy on your eye, but I mean, if you look more at this, you actually see. So I might actually do the review uh, of the slipcase editions and then uh, show them this as like an example how you can do nice colors and not those. <laughs> so yeah, this book box set is actually tiny. Like uh, I think the children's one like is not only the Philosopher's Stone but like a part of Chamber of Secrets longer to this side pretty much. These are super thin. I mean, they do have small letters in them also, not just the thicker ones, so, I mean, that's what I saw. <laughs> I don't know. 
and it looks great with yellow. How do you even do that? So now I'm all prepared for the next box set because of course Bloomsbury is already planning their next box set which is released in September. It's called an adult box set which doesn't really surprise me since this adult edition was released but compared to that five years before so I give a pass on that except that the hardcover was released much later so I don't know why they do that. Whatever, I'm gonna get the paperback set for sure and if hardcovers are released later I'm gonna consider see the differences. Uh, but most likely not for hardcovers because they are super expensive uh, and like you don't get more and you need one hardcover set to read and other than that if it's for collecting paperbacks are just fine. So yeah, by the way I just found out that other countries are doing the pocket books with the covers of the ones that are just ebook covers for us. They are basically the Pottermore covers and they are absolutely beautiful, I adore them. And whenever I see the ebooks on book, uh, online bookstores, I'm like get, getting angry like, why wouldn't you use that as like releasing a paperback? Why do you just either cop copy Scholastic or Bloomsbury? Like, get your own life! <laughs> oh, I hate the releases in my country, it's like, I just want one for me to read uh, in my language, but... They are so not original and then I see that the French ones, the Italian ones, German ones, everyone has their own designs, they have their own flaws because they kind of look weird, some of them, whatever, but they all got them. And by the way, the Swedish Deathly Hallows, oh my god, oh my god. One day I want to have the Swedish Deathly Hallows, like, I'm not a huge fan of that book compared to the others. But that cover is just something. I usually prefer to have more of Philosopher's Stone and the rest is just a set. But I love that cover so much, this Swedish uh, Deathly Hallows. I don't know, there are some covers I really like and wish to own, but not gonna happen. I like usually the English ones anyways. I just need to get the Scholastic book set now before they disappear. And now that I said that, I cursed it. So, let's say bye with this beautiful color scheme. Or is that even work? Like this beautiful color thing? Oh my god. It's upside down. It's upside down. Sorry. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Like, look at this. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank you for watching. And I shall buy more books. Especially the illustrated editions. I need to get this. And then just chill on Harry Potter already and finish my Macabot collection because I'm a terrible person already. Like, I want to read the Macabot books and they're not even expensive. What am I complaining about when I spent so much on Harry Potter suddenly? It was on sale and it took two days to get there. So, bye!